Welcome to the BWF Para Badminton World Championships 2022. It's finals day here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're inside the Yoyogi National Stadium for some of the best action from the wheelchair parties. Players in WH1 have impairment in both lower limbs and trunk function, requiring the use of a wheelchair. Two Japanese Paralympic champions were on court in their respective wheelchair singles finals, creating a legacy for Japan in wheelchair badminton and looking to add to their medal collections on home soil. Serena Satomi faced Switzerland's Cynthia Mathez in the wheelchair one winning singles final. Unfortunately for Mathez, Satomi was taking control and monopolising the rallies from start to finish. Serena Satomi's singles title adds to the gold medal she also collected in the women's doubles with Yuma Yamazaki in the wheelchair one, wheelchair two sport class. WH2 players could have impairment in one or both lower limbs and minimal or no impairment to trunk function, but still require the use of a wheelchair. Japan's other double Paralympic medalist is 20-year-old Daiki Kajiwara, who took gold in singles at the Tokyo 2020 Games. In the final here, he faced a legend in Kim Jung-jun from Korea. A spirited start was expected for both men, but with Kajiwara showing experience and craft well beyond his years, he took the first game and control of the match. JJ was under too much pressure throughout the second game and with Daiki making very few errors, it was too much for the Korean to turn things around. And Japan's poster boy secures another gold for his mantelpiece. The wheelchair doubles pair is typically made up of a player from each of the sport classes. Wheelchair one, where a player has impairment to both limbs and trunk function, and wheelchair two player has impairment to one or both limbs and minimal or no impairment to trunk function. The WH1, WH2 men's doubles final saw Malaysians Noor Aswan Norlan 
and Mohamed Ikwan Ramli taking on an in-form Rick Hellman and Thomas Van Schneider from Germany. The Malaysian pair had a strong start, taking the lead to a 7-2 scoreline. But then an incredible run of 12 consecutive points for the Germans meant Norlan and Ramley had a real challenge to stay in game one. was a similar start in game two, with the Malaysians forcing an early advantage. But once again, the momentum shifted heavily in favor of Hellman and Van Schneider, who took the next seven points into the mid-game interval. It was an even battle towards the end of the game, but with that healthy lead, the Germans had managed to stay ahead. The final point lands, and with it, another moment in para badminton history is made. With Rick and Thomas taking the gold, it makes Van Schneider the oldest ever world champion. But uh, now I'm very old, and my, tomorrow I'm 59 years old and a world champion. Huh? It's crazy, no? it's very crazy. No? It's fantastic. With my best partner, I have every time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's a perfect birthday present for you then. Yeah, thank yes. you. 